This is the first January in memory in which I feel like I am where I'm supposed to be, which is a really good feeling. Um, you know, I'm working at the soda parlor and I'm heading up kind of the live music there and it's already been a success, at least in my mind. Um, we've had a few musicians out, not a ton, um, but it's all gone really well. We had this band come out from Phoenix, Arizona called The Country Together and it was just like an instant connection and it was a blast hanging out with them and I'm collaborating with the violinist uh, on the single that I'm working on right now that I'll be releasing in January. I'm really excited about that. But everything is just falling into place right now. It's different than last time I was here in Nashville. I've only been here for a few months and I've already been home to visit. I went home for the holidays to see my family and friends and stuff and uh, my mom made her famous Christmas breakfast which was just it was on point. It was choice. I don't know, this was just like the culmination of all of these years of her expertise in Christmas morning breakfast cooking, but it was excellent. And uh, that maple bacon, man, every time. I mean, I just, they made so much of it. And I was sure there was no way we could eat it all. But we went through it. Yeah, we ate all the maple bacon, and it was amazing. Uh, and then I got to have a conversation with my dad that I had been meaning to have for a long time now. Um, got to tell him, you know, that I never really felt connected to my family. I've always felt this sort of disconnect between me and all of them. Um, almost like I felt like I was on the outside looking in, um, which I know was never their intention. Um, they've always been very supportive of everything I do. Uh, and I don't know, maybe that was part of the problem I felt like, like, this is going to sound narcissistic, and maybe it is just narcissistic, but it always kind of felt like I was hailed as something in my family, like I was being paraded around like on a chair or something, that's kind of how it felt, but my dad never did that. He never made me feel guilty for not calling, um, I'm a very independent person, and so when I'm not talking to people, I'm not, I'm not thinking about them. I'm, I'm, most of the time it comes off as very selfish and uncaring, which is not necessarily untrue, um, but I'm just very independent. Like, I don't have this need to talk to other people. Um, and my dad is very similar in that way, and so he understood. Uh, maybe to a fault at some points where maybe he should have been making me feel guilty, because like, I know I should be calling my family more and stuff, but it was just, it was really nice to get to talk to him and tell him how I felt about it and, um, yeah, it made me miss home less now that I'm here. Uh, and then I got to see my friends for the rest of the trip and got to hang out with Ben and Lauren, my two oldest friends, and we played a friggin' ton of Super Smash Bros. Me and Ben played piano for a while and we just ate garbage food for the most part. And then I got to see all my uh, old friends from my church back home, and we played Lord of the Rings Risk together, and I destroyed them, and it was excellent, and I don't feel the need to go back, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. One thing that I felt worth mentioning was I had a dream last night that I had like four pugs, which I don't, I don't like pugs, I think they're horrible, hideous, smelly creatures, but uh, yeah, I had four pugs, and one of them had this personality where just like he didn't like when I went to the bathroom for some reason, so when I would try to pee, he would hop up on the toilet seat and just walk around in a circle on the toilet seat and just not let me pee, but when I woke up, I realized that that was my subconscious telling me not to pee the bed, because apparently I drank like... 20 ounces of water right before I went to bed and it didn't really register to me that, you know, human biology is a thing and like, my body needs to function in a specific way when I drink fluids. So yeah, this pug, which I'm going to name Pug Patronus, because I feel like I would have a Pug Patronus now that's protecting me from myself. Yeah, so Pug Patronus, hopefully he pops up again. So, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later.